Howdy everyone, welcome to another episode of Played With Toys, I'm Jaime, today we're taking a look at the MSM-04 Ack Guy from the anime series, this is R number 221, of course this is the Robot Spirits Edition, and I gotta say that I really enjoy this figure, it's got some really cool balance, really cool effects, uh, different, uh, <laughs> he's just got a lot of variety, so I'm very excited to review this figure. I got a couple of them actually, as you can see there in the background. I've got another one, so just kind of waiting to be opened. But anyway, let's go ahead and get on with the review. So I like the presentation of the box, and I think it's pretty groovy. I definitely enjoy the display on the front. You could, I could say that if I was a carded or box collector, I guess you know this is something I think would actually display pretty nicely, just because it's different than your typical. Uh, design that you know we get so it looks good just in the box but anyway checking out the side just a plain picture of him and some really quick uh, you know I guess he's lowering people down and some poses that he can do and he's actually got some really cool articulation so and everything that he comes with all his effects all that good stuff so and some of the other stuff that he can do but anyway like I said overall great presentation all right, so I think I've decided that I'm going to go ahead and change the way that I do some of these uh, reviews, in a sense, the especially these guys right here, the Robot Damashi, uh, particularly. And the reason is because, guess what? Whenever you change like the figure with a particular part, it's going to change the sculpt. So, you know, I'll go ahead and comment on it real fast, uh, just the colors and stuff like that. But overall, you really got to judge this thing by like what can it do because it's different than a traditional action figure a lot of the times you know you got your full armor versions to you know extending arm versions to whatever giant backpack versions or <laughs> whatever have you so you know it really depends like how well does this figure kind of come together so anyway without further ado um, I think that the coloring is very nice and you know I do of course like the eye so I like the design and everything and you've got this backpack which is actually an accessory that attaches to that so um, that is not you know on the package but obviously anyway so uh, you know and I'm very big fan of the articulation so overall that's you know the reason why I really really love this figure and while kind of stumpy looking he can actually do a lot of really cool stuff and you know he's got great like joints for shooting however you know he can shoot in whichever direction is needed now his head articulation is pretty decent so you know he is capable of looking really really good now of course you're gonna have the usual issues such as sprue cutting issues and stuff like that so you know more there <laughs> they just don't do a very good job with sprues unfortunately I don't know what the deal is that is but uh, the head looks okay except for the back so that's not too bad, it's displayable and everything but like I said overall I'm a fan of this design I think it looks cool, it reminds me of the bear guy um, and of course, of course the bear guy is a derivative of this but um, you know this one looks far more hostile ready to you know blow things away so speaking of which let's go ahead and check out these accessories and see how they do affect the uh, well sculpting character of this figure so first you can pop each of these panels off and just want to be really careful and then this thing right here will come off then you can pop this guy on this clear piece actually I'm sorry you have a pink piece that you can kind of place in wherever you want and slide along these three tracks right here so place this guy on uh, make sure I got it on there right good to go now boom then you go ahead and just pop these suckers back on like so and like so and there you go now his eyes moved in the direction you want so you can have him looking that way that way whatever so or upwards and the reason I'm showing him upwards is because guess what the next effects are these crazy machine gun 105 millimeter what are they Vulcan cannons so Vulcan guns but you can place them in however you like and they look pretty sweet I think we'll just place alternating like that so boom so now he's like flying around looking at his target and <laughs> shooting at full force or 
whatever if he wants to do that. So his arms, he can accommodate a little, uh, I think, yeah, one of these Vulcan cannons in here. Or Vulcan gun, you know, he's got that. And then, of course, you can switch out his hands. Well, yeah, hands, you see. So th this one right here actually has six or three little pieces you can remove. One of them just came out. And they're these little nubs. And the reason for that is you can plug in some missile effects to this, uh, whoops, this figure. You want to, yeah, you want to do it this way with this piece sticking out. So, and you just plug that back in. And voila, you have, now you've got shooting missiles, Vulcan cannon, all sorts of stuff. And then next, I mean, that looks really cool, right? <laughs> At least I think so. So you can unplug this uh, arm and plug, whoops, actually, I'm sorry. I think you would unplug it somewhere up here. Yeah, right there. And plug this in. And now he's got his crazy extending uh, piece, I guess. That, whoops, there we go. All right, and just like that. Okay, so there we are. So he still could get some crazy articulation like that. So then that's pretty freaking awesome. You know, he can do a handstand. And be shooting at people. At least I got him to do it earlier so I should be able to get him to do it again give me one second here let's see all right there we go handstand for the win so he's pretty crazy <laughs> he's got some really good balance and it's just a really fun figure to play with as you can see so moving on to accessories so now that I've got this kind of splayed open and all that good stuff I can show you the next accessory which is this like I forgot what it's called some sort of mis missile, you know, awesome thing that can come out and just shoot right out of that. So that's pretty awesome. And of course, this all spins or whatever. So that's pretty nice if you wanted to do some fun uh, stop motion or something, maybe. But it's best to have these all kind of unplugged or undone whenever you're trying to unplug this thing because it's kind of a pain. Just got to kind of wiggle it back and forth slowly so you don't break it and knock things over like I just did. <laughs> but uh, anyway, so there's that. And finally, uh, we have these two pieces. So this little piece right here comes off. We're going to go over articulation after this, but just to show off all the crazy stuff he comes with. You know, this little piece right here comes off and you can have like the lower in the pilots down and then as you saw earlier and then these pieces right here can come off and you have this where they're running over the act guy and it kind of slides right in and you'll hear it click just like it did and you can just kind of pull it off so that works out pretty well right all right, so I'm going to go ahead and put his arm back on regularly, and we'll check out articulation, because ah, these guys are articulated, aren't they? So for head articulation, he can look side to side like that. He can look up about that much, down about that much. Not a whole heck of a lot, but he can turn his head around side to side, and probably all the way around. Yeah, so that's pretty cool. And then for the arms, he's got this like funky, you know, ball joint there. And I don't think any sort of bicep swivel, but um, he's got kind of a pop out elbow. And then the elbow is built like into the forearm or something. It's kind of cool. So uh, it allows this short little stubby guy to get some range of motion, you know, and that, that, that helps. So that was a good design choice, I think, on their part. Let me plug this back in because it just looks incomplete without it, doesn't it? So, uh, overall, you know, he can get into those positions because he can move his mono eye, you know, it doesn't really matter as far as the head articulation goes because he can look up no matter what. <laughs> look up that way, that way, whatever he desires or you desire. So, no waist articulation whatsoever, and that's fine given his design. I think they have plenty of ways for you to move this figure around. 
um, this joint I believe it does kind of yeah pop out like all funky see so you can get a pretty yeah that's <laughs> that's kind of crazy so you can get them in some weird poses I guess if you I suppose if you wanted to I guess just be careful right so I don't know I'm trying to pull on this one right here it seems a bit tight so just be careful there but it does allow you a pretty crazy degree of motion I guess if you wanted to pull them both out I mean that's pretty insane so and that's really great I like it I mean it's an option it doesn't necessarily you don't necessarily have to use it so that's what's great about that now knee articulation is also wonderful so and I love this mechanism it just looks really cool so and you know, I don't know, even without popping that thing out, you still get a pretty good amount of uh, swivel and all that good stuff in range. So being able to split about that far and probably further if you, you know, pull that out. But anyway, enough with that. And for ankles, you're going to get about here, your pivot and back and forth. So no, um, you know, uh, toe pivot. So you've got stuff for like thrusters. Uh, pegs and pegs for your, your peg for your stage act there and you know I really like this like crazy brown design that's pretty cool I think it's gonna look really really good with the rest of the figures on my shelf my little Zaku uh, or not Zaku but my uh, Xeon army that I'm building up so I'm very pleased to have a couple of these and I think that you should pick them up if you can find them at your, you know, whatever retailer or want to order them on Ami Ami or, uh, you know, that's where I got mine. So I think they were pretty inexpensive, like 40 bucks or something. So uh, maybe $43 or so, something given the conversion rate. Of course, you got to pay for shipping, but that's on you. Anyway, I recommend it. I think you should buy it, like I said. And hope you guys have a happy day. Happy collecting. Take it easy.